Welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for everybody who turned up at the Round the Clock Trader event on Saturday at Covent Garden. Really good fun. Met a lot of interesting people. Uh, met some members that I haven't met before from both the Wealth Club and you know, the Scalp School. So that was brilliant. Now, just a quick catch up. Uh, I had traded today. Uh, I'll show you what I've done in a minute. But in the meantime, what I'm doing in the trading room this week, and I'll just let, give you an insight into that, is I'm just getting everybody to keep a very close eye on this, this Boeing. This is the biggest influence on the movement in the Dow. It's the, one that uh, has the most impact on the, um, on the indice. And you can see this has just rolled over after the crash, or the second crash. Uh, and today we are just trying to hold here um, a big sale on Friday, hence one of the reasons why that the Dow dropped so sharply on Friday. Uh, it's in trouble. Um, it could easily come and see 350. 350 would make sense. Nice big round number. A lot of selling up here. So I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I could be persuaded otherwise if we hold 370. But I think uh, this is going to need some um, a lower number before that's ready to push up. In the meantime, here's the Dow, and I bought the Dow from our golden anchor level, which was pretty. It was actually spot on. I was going to say it's pretty much spot on. It was actually spot on. The low of today was a golden anchor support level, and you can see we're coming off this. This is a huge amount of support down here. So I'm looking. To see if we can see some higher numbers in the early part of the week and maybe some selling in the second half of the week. So we've dipped, found ourselves at a support level quite early on in the session. Now, if that's the case early on in the session, I will buy a dip outside of the range. So the, I did not trade the open range today. In fact, let's look at the open trading range today. It's all over the place, it's triggering. Uh, long and short so if you are not used to using the open range and you're using it without an anchor system like the one we have in scalper score then this is potentially going to cause you problems you could be right uh, and still lose money if you don't have an anchor system with this setup so I just done a screen grab of my futures account so I got 499 pity I could just couldn't have made the, the bit round 500 isn't it um, so on the CBOT exchange, uh, I bought at 425 and I sold here at 478. I actually ran the stop up. So I had my 25 pips, or my scalp score 25 pips, decided to see if it could run a little further and ended up with 53. So and that's given me 499 profit. Okay, you can see, um, so I was in it from 2.17 to 2.31. So I was in it for 14 minutes. So that's not bad for 14 minutes work, is it? If you want to find out how to do this, then the Scalper School is on Saturday the 30th. It's coming Saturday. Four-hour program, and it gets you straight in the trading room but like I said this low these lows here were a scalper school anchor low so if you want to join us on scalper school then this is scalperschool.co.uk come down to the um, information the, the program you can see how extensive this program is there's a lot of elements here that's the program itself up there. There's the support package in the second paragraph. You have six different elements to the support package from a five day chat room to a three day live trading room and alerts, etc. And then there's the buy now button. So press that to book for the 30th of March. And then it comes up at the top tradeeasyway.com. That's because Scalper School is part of the tradeeasyway.com family. All right, so I hope to see you in the room on Saturday. Any questions, let me know. Drop me a line. Otherwise, I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Watch out for further updates during the week. Okay, thanks. Bye.